is the video on uh, capacity. I went over the standard in the first video, so I'm not going to do it in this one. We're just going to we're just going to do that. I'm going to leave the warm up alone. Let you deal with that in class. All right. This is our capacity conversions. Eight ounces is equal to one cup. Two cups equals one pint. Two pints equals one quart. Four quarts equals one gallon. Remember these numbers, eight, two, two, four. Eight, two, two, four. Eight ounces, a cup, two cups, a pint. Two pints, one quart. Four quarts, one gallon. You have to memorize these for the standard, for the state EOC. All right, now, I have these pre-done. It just made it easier for the video. So, there are three pints that you're starting with. You want to know how many cups. So, pints went in the denominator, cups went in the numerator. I started with pints, and wherever I'm headed is in the numerator. So, there are two cups in a pint. Three times two is six. Then I have 32 ounces, and I want to know how many cups that is. So, 32 ounces, eight ounces in one cup. So, eight ounces goes here. One cup goes here. 32 over eight is four. Six quarts, we want to know how many pints that is. So six quarts times, there's two pints in a quart. So one quart in the denominator, because quarts is here, and two pints here, so that makes 12 pints multiplying. All right, this one, we have quarts and we're headed to gallons. So six quarts, four quarts in one gallon, that gives me six over four, which simplifies to three over two or one and a half gallons, or you can even write 1.5. All right, in a tablespoon, you'll be using these for baking, if you ever bake. One tablespoon is three teaspoons, and you gotta memorize these things. One ounce is two tablespoons. One cup is eight fluid ounces. One ounce is equal to 591.471 drops. You do not have to memorize this one. That's one I put in because this is an honors algebra one class and I'm trying to extend your knowledge a little bit. Okay. All right, if I'm starting with 12 teaspoons and I wanna to go to tablespoons, there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. Remember, if teaspoons is here, it goes in the denominator here. So 12 over three is four. 12 teaspoons is how many ounces? So. Three teaspoons in a tablespoon again. Teaspoons is here, so teaspoons is here. Tablespoons is here, so I write tablespoons here. There's two tablespoons in one ounce. All of these are going to go away, and I have 12 over 6, which is two ounces. All right, 16 cups. How many ounces is in that? Well, cups cancels, and 16 times 8 is 128 ounces. All right, uh, this problem is here because I had, my husband had some drops for his eyes that, that were needing to be filled, and I'm not gonna make a long story out of this, but the pharmacist filled them incorrectly. I, through talking to the insurance, figured this out myself. They thought they had given him three months supply of eye drops, and they had only given him one. Mind you, we paid for three months. But I would not have been able to figure this out. The insurance company didn't figure it out for me. The pharmacist didn't figure it out for me. What figured, what helped me figure it out is I went, wait a minute, how many drops are in an ounce? And I figured it out that way and realized that they had not given him the proper prescription. So this does, this math fits into the real world and that's why you have this problem. If your prescription calls for two drops in each eye every day, how many ounces will you need for 90 days? I honestly had to figure that out. All right, two drops for 90 days, two drops a day, that's 180 total drops. 180 drops, how many drops are in one ounce? This is, this is the kicker, this is where I caught them. There are 591.471 drops in an ounce. Then I took 180, divided it by this, and you get 0.3 ounces if you round it off. Thank you.